Well, a heartbreaking scene outside of Sacramento Elementary School today. A mother killed walking near the campus soon after school let out. Police say that two cars collided and she was trapped underneath one of them. That crash happened this afternoon outside the Phoebe Hearst Elementary School at the intersection of 60th Street and Folsom Boulevard. KCRA3's Melanie Wingo explains what happened and why neighbors say there is so much traffic in that area. The Phoebe Hearst Elementary School community shaken after a mom was killed as she walked near the school at pickup time. Police confirming two cars crashed just as that parent was crossing Folsom Boulevard at 60th Street. Witnesses telling KCRA 3 parents and staff members raced to help lifting one of the cars in an attempt to free the victim who was rushed to a nearby hospital where police say she later died. Steve Garneau is a volunteer at nearby Happy Tales Pet Sanctuary and has lived in the neighborhood for 18 years. The traffic here is getting out of control. Schools in the area, he says, adding to the number of cars on the road. There's a school here, there's St. Mary's uh, Elementary School, two blocks over that way, and there's St. Mary's High School over here. And predominantly, it seems to be most people uh, don't walk to school or take a bike to school. They're, they're, they're being dropped off and picked up. KCRA 3 hearing from parents, they park across busy Folsom Boulevard out of necessity as they try to get their children to and from school. Real crowded here and they're forced to park and then come across this busy street. Sacramento police crash investigators stayed at the scene for hours, working to figure out how the crash happened. The two drivers involved cooperating with that investigation as the community remains distraught over what happened to one of their neighbors. It's unfortunate. I feel horrible for the, uh, the person who lost their life and the, the person who did it. In East Sacramento, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Police have not released the victim's name, and although we did speak with a family member at the crash scene who confirmed her identity, we are choosing not to report her name at this time out of respect for her family.